She lived the life the way she wanted to And made her dreams come true Hello beautiful being, I'm Trini And welcome to your pick a card reading In this reading we are going to delve into why something in your life has not turned out the way that you initially hoped it would or that you expected it to and when spirit brought this idea through to me initially i was like okay that's cool but should not be focusing on the present moment and where we are now and then moving into our beautiful future and i was immediately reminded of many occasions in my life where i needed to just sit down with my cards and open up to guidance from spirit so that i could really delve into an, a deep understanding of why something wasn't for me at the time or why i needed to go in a different direction or why i needed to pause in a certain situation or give something up or walk away from something it can really help to understand because that helps us to let go on a deeper level and also to accept fully why we are in the place that we are in right now. And I find that in most situations, unless you do it to a point of frustration, if you're asking why in order to achieve a deeper understanding of who you are and of your path and what's really right for you, it's going to um, help you to grow spiritually and to feel more confident in who you are and in your path. So um, this is a general reading, so please keep that in mind. Take what resonates. Also, uh, if there's anything in this reading that is helpful to you or that resonates with you, please be sure to um, like. You can leave a comment for me if you like um, and also subscribe. And I am going to go ahead and put up the screen for you to select your group. And I will see you at your reading. Close your eyes and take a deep cleansing breath. When you open your eyes, see which group you're most drawn to. If you need to, you can pause the video. But don't overthink it. Just go with what you feel. When you're ready, I'll see you at your reading. All right, group one, let's go ahead and see what it is that didn't necessarily go in the direction or in the way that you had hoped and what spirit is bringing through about that. All right, you've got Page of Spheres, Page of Pentacles, and Six of Swords. Okay, so I feel like there was a major change that was brought about because of something within your finances. I feel like this um, is potentially something that you wanted to see happen, some prosperity that you wanted to manifest and because it didn't happen at the time or in the way that you had hoped you ended up potentially moving locations um for some of you this could have been where you were moving to another city hoping to have better uh, options for work um I feel like for some of you, you just wanted a fresh start. You wanted new scenery. With this page of pentacles, you may have felt like the foundation that you needed, the um, energy that you needed around you in order to inspire you to get going with your career and your finances and your creative endeavors. You just weren't feeling it where you were. So you made a change and with that six of swords that's what i'm getting with that is a very literal meaning of that card which is relocation and this was done with the hope of exposing yourself to new energy but i see that as the strength in the situation what didn't go the way that you wanted to was that where you were it just wasn't working for you so spirit is already bringing through that you are a very um, 
you're the type of person who when you're given an obstacle, you say, okay, what can we do about this? So you were resilient and you weren't only resilient in that situation, but you are a resilient person. And divine is saying that that's why at the end of the day, you will always win is because you can take a situation that appears to be bad, quote unquote, bad, and you find the good in it. You, you see the possibilities. You see the change that you can make in order to make that situation work for you. And you're never going to allow things to stop you or to block your blessing. That's just not who you are. So a big reason as to why this happened was because Divine wanted you to witness your own strength. Because if you had remained in that same place, in that same situation, if it had been comfortable enough for you, you never would have really tapped into the potential that you have to take something that's negative and to transmute it into positive energy. Divine, what was, I feel like Divine is really clear about this. Like, <laughs> that came through very quickly, but let's get some more information. Okay, so you've got the White Witch card. Divine is saying to embrace alchemy, to embrace your power to transmute because this is like a, a superpower that you have. It's something that is innately within you. It's a gift that you have. And you might feel sometimes like when you look around at things and you see that it just doesn't meet your expectations and you have this inner desire, this very deep desire to make the situation better or to find something better for you. Like in this situation, you found a better environment for, you, for yourself. Divine is saying to embrace that about you. Um, sometimes people may have made you feel like you just can't be satisfied or like you're never happy with how things are. But Divine is saying that that's a part of your gift. And that's the criticism that comes along with it is that people think that you always feel like you're like things aren't good enough for you or, you know, like you might hear people say like, why can't she just settle or why can't they get, just settle for what they have and be happy? Well, it's not that you're not happy because you're also learning as you go through these experiences, you're also learning how to generate contentment and fulfillment within yourself. But you're learning how to create your own world, how to um, align your life with what it is that you truly want, how to pick out the environment that is good for you, that's going to help nurture you and, and your growth. So there's nothing wrong with your way of doing things. And this has actually served you in this situation where you needed to switch up your environment. Um, okay, so some of the ways that this situation has helped you, for you to pick up and leave it, it and to switch your location, to switch your environment, it caused you to bring a certain level of focus to your life that you didn't have before. You see there right there, she, she has her bow and arrow and she's focused on her target, but she's also, she's also like kind of looking off into the distance. So maybe she doesn't have a clear idea of what she actually wants, but she's shooting. And that's, that's the beauty of your path is that you haven't always known exactly what the outcome was going to be, but you still have moved forward. You've still been in that chariot energy where you said, you know what, I'm going to move forward. And you have always had a very strong sense of what it was that you wanted. And so your focus is coming into alignment, your focus with your physical eyes is coming into alignment with your soul and your true path and purpose and so um, this has sort of awakened a different aspect of your energy of really looking at what it is that you want and saying okay yes I want this but also I'm not afraid to switch it up 
and if things have to take a couple of turns or if if things don't go exactly in the way that I want to if I don't always hit that bullseye it's all right because I'm still moving forward and that's the beauty of you um also you're overcoming a lot of ideas of obedience I feel like there's a fiery energy in you because that's the, the energy of change and of passion. And you may have been taught in your home growing up or you may have been surrounded by people who have sort of just, they fall in line and they do as they're told and they do as they're expected to do. And you're not doing that. You have always sort of had this rebellious streak in you and Divine is saying that it's time to embrace that, okay? Because it is definitely an ally. That streak that you have in you that says, I'm not going to go with what everybody else says to do. It's going to help you. So honor it, okay? Honor that, that desire that you have to do your own thing. Okay, so Divine is saying, leave the past behind. And the energy of this card is last quarter moon in Capricorn. So yeah, that points back to financial stability. I really feel like the situation that didn't turn out the way that you hoped it would, it really is about finances and um, about your stability. But Divine is saying that there's nothing about that situation that you need to hold on to. They're saying to leave, leave it in the past because it's best left there. There's nothing in that past situation that would be of value to you in this present moment other than the lessons that you've learned, okay? But there is no reason to have regrets or any fears. Um, you did exactly what was in alignment with your soul to do and that's to be commended all right you have renewal and lantern so um, yes there's a certain level of consciousness that you are attaining because of this past experience and you're looking back and you're reflecting and a lot of those things that have remained in the dark are coming to light. So this is about understanding yourself. That past situation that you walked away from, it really did help you to understand who you are and who you're not, who you don't want to be, you know? So you're gaining strength from that. This is light energy. This is masculine energy. So this is all about strength and awareness and that's what that situation has brought you and you also have renewal regeneration begins with decay so oh wow regeneration begins with decay so as you leave this past situation behind you you're gonna notice and i feel like you already have seen evidence of new things sprouting up now you may have a tendency to compare what you are experiencing now to what you think you would have experienced if things had worked out with that previous situation. But Divine is saying that you're exactly where you need to be right now. And that those things that seemed to have come crumbling down, it was time. It was time for that to happen. So you don't need to have any regrets, okay? All right, and um, I wanna know how you're moving forward. Or, oh, one flipped, oh, okay. So you've got the card for solitude, or sorry, sacrifice, but I saw solitude. So I feel like there may be some situations where you're sort of um, feeling like, okay, I'm here and who else is with me? Where is my click? Where is my support? And Divine is saying that in some situations, 
it will take an inner strength to realize that your support is in the spirit realm. It's on the astral realm. And so you may not at certain times have that support from physical human beings um, that you are desiring, but that the support you need will always be there. It may be in the form of your spirit allies, whether it's a guardian angel or archangels or um, entities or energies that you connect with. Um, but that is going to bring you to another level of spirituality and spiritual awareness because you're tapping into different dimensions. So it's going to be worth it. All right, but you also have sacrifice. So Divine is saying that there is a sacrifice that was involved and there were obstacles and challenges. There was a lot of conflict, but now this is about harmony. And I feel like this harmony is going to play out in a very real physical way with um, the six, the, the number six, that's about reciprocity. I'm getting six of pentacles, especially because the whole reason for this doubt that you have is a situation that stemmed from finances and your career. And that was with um, Paige's fears, Page of Pentacles. I feel like you just felt like you couldn't get going. Now there's going to be stability. There's going to be harmony and also reciprocity that is evident in your relationships. So um, Divine is saying to look out for any mental conflict that might come about from not having this rest and rejuvenation card was in reverse. So I feel like What's really important is to always honor your rest, always honor your body's needs. Sometimes, um, especially with that Capricorn energy coming through, even if you're not a Capricorn or if you don't have a lot of Capricorn energy in your natal chart, I feel that energy coming through where it is motivated and, you know, you're about your business, you're about growth and those financial opportunities you really do want to see those uh, take root and grow but divine is saying that also what's super important is that rest and rejuvenation so there needs to be a balance there and that is something that if you're not aware of it could potentially hold you back so you want to make sure that you are checking in how am I feeling have I you know whatever it is that you do to nurture yourself whether it's uh, taking naps or uh, exercising stretching, doing yoga, taking vitamins, whatever it is that you do to nurture yourself, drinking lots of water, just check in with yourself every single day and make sure that you are feeling nurtured and that you're giving your body the rest that it needs. And Divine is saying that what's coming to you is this energy of foundation and achievements where everything that you've done in the past, whether it felt like something was being broken down or changed or built up it was helping you to build this foundation because even the things that with that decay card it says renewal and regeneration begin with decay so in order for us to build something we have to make sure that we have a level a healthy a healthy area a healthy grounds to to plant those seeds in right um so that's what you've been working on. And so even when it felt like you were losing something, you really were gaining knowledge and awareness about yourself and the inspiration that you needed. You were gaining inspiration to move forward, okay? All right, group one, I hope this reading was helpful for you. Uh, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care. Hello, group two. Let's go ahead and tap in and see what it is that did not work out in the way that you had hoped it would. Okay. We got the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, you've also got King of Cups, Queen of Cups, mm. 
and four of pentacles, four of spheres. I feel like there is, um, with this queen, queen and king of cups right together, I feel like this was a romantic connection where someone with this four of spheres was holding on and not giving of themselves, not opening up. With this Wheel of Fortune, I'm getting that this was more of like wheel energy where it's just like going around and round and round. There were cycles, cycles just being repeated, 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 repeated. And it felt like a never ending telenovela, soap opera. It felt like it was just the same thing going on again and again and again. And you got tired of this same story being repeated. And you took the initiative to make a change. Some of you haven't made this change yet. Some of you are still holding on to that wheel. And it's started to feel like the wheel is guiding you instead of you guiding the wheel. And so it's just become a very repetitive pattern that keeps playing out over and over again um now with that queen of cups and king of cups what i see is a, a very strong emotional connection between the two of you between you and your person this person i feel like there were ties between you from a previous lifetime and that is one reason why it has felt so intoxicating the connection between you and when you've wanted to take that wheel and make it stop and say wait a minute I'm getting off this roller coaster I'm getting off this ride you're not gonna take me for this ride anymore it's like you just find yourself in it one more time and then again and again and again and again um, but I definitely see that there is a strong emotional and past life connection between the two of you. Okay. Um, let's see what spirit is bringing through as far as guidance as to why this has not or did not work out. All right. They're speaking. They're speaking. Okay. You've got release the old and rest. So divine is saying, look, we know you're tired because I mean, you're not the only one that's gone on that sort of ride. You know, when you are at the mercy of someone else because you want something with them so badly or you want this specific outcome, it becomes very powerful, the hold that they have on you. And so it's tiring because you're playing according to what they want you to do you're doing what they want you to do you're perhaps giving into some manipulative ways and tactics that are playing out in the relationship and so divine is saying to release the old and rest because that is very tiring it's amazing because when you see people who are going through a very negative uh, pattern in their relationship you can see it on their face. A lot of times you'll start to have dark circles under your eyes or you'll get wrinkles and it's just, it's the stress. And those aren't permanent. It's typically not permanent physical changes. It's just temporary because that's your body letting you know how this situation is impacting you. It may play out as headaches or tummy aches. Um, it could be like indigestion and things like that where your, your energy is blocked. And so your body is responding in a way that's letting you know, hey, you got to let go. You know, it's time to let go. Um, but what's coming through very clearly is that rest. It's not just about releasing. It's about resting. Because I feel like this is something that you may have done in the past where you were trying to release it. And you, you did. I feel like you've walked away and you may have blocked and said, no more. I'm not having it anymore and you were all you know empowered and then sometimes something else will happen in your life and it makes you want to go back to that relationship 
So divine is saying not only to release, but to rest. And a part of resting is trusting, trusting that you are doing the right thing. Um, now, what's going to happen is as you release, you are going to unleash that wild uh, she-wolf within. And so there are aspects of you that you have not really known or acknowledged about yourself lately because you've been so concerned with this other person and what they want. And you've been very concerned with what your goals were for this connection, where spirit is just saying it's time to let go and explore yourself because there's so much beauty there. Um, you may have been looking to this relationship to find magic, but there is magic within you. It has been lying there dormant though. It's ready to be awakened. And I see it like a volcano. It's just gonna explode. It's gonna be so amazing. And that in and of itself might feel a little bit like, whoa, what's going on? But Divine is saying, don't let that shake you. This is your greatness that's coming alive. This is you and it's time um now you have earth mother but it was in reverse so i feel like yeah this is the card for feeling loved and comforted i feel like this um transition that you've been going through these realizations that you're making about the changes that are necessary to make with this emotional connection it's left you feeling like you were not loved and comforted and divine is saying please don't look at your ability to love or be loved through the lenses of this relationship because this relationship is about something else it's about learning your worth and learning how not to be guided by someone else how to guide yourself um but it's not to put a cap on or a limit on your ability to love or to be loved. This is something that is just an experience for you to learn from and you will have very meaningful, beautiful connections in your future. But in order to do that, there has to be a release and um, a willingness to let go of the past, okay? All right, let's get some more guidance from Spirit. All right, you've got High Priestess of Air. So what's going to happen is as you release, this is the, yeah, I believe the second time that air is coming through mm -hmm, in your reading. With that autumn card, there's a bird on there. And so that is letting us know that that is air energy. And as you release, what's going to happen is you're going to have so much more freedom you're going to speak your truth. Um, this is the throat chakra. And you're going to have also a closer connection to your higher self, to your soul. And you are going to have a greater awareness and a deeper understanding of what's truly meant for you. And so your high priestess energy is going to be awakened. But it's going to result because this is high priestess of air. It's going to result from those changes that you're willing to make. Those new ideas that are going to come to you that will inspire you to do what's truly right for you. Okay? To think outside the box. Because I feel like you've been trying the same thing over and over and over again. And it's just not working. It has resulted in a lot of frustration. And Divine says that you don't deserve to live in a frustrated state. You deserve to live in a glorious, marvelous state. Okay, you've got attend to the details and make time for self-love. So this is really important because I feel like with that release and um, rest, release the old and rest and also unleash the wild within. You know, when you let your true self come out it's not always like you know roses and daisies and oh it's all so fun it's it can be challenging too because sometimes as we are human beings and we look at other people's reactions to us and stuff sometimes 
when you see how people react to you, you can be kind of put off by that and like, is this what I want? Do I not want to fit in? Do I not want to be a wallflower? Do I really want to be different? Well, living that life of being different, it also comes with loving yourself immensely, like fiercely and saying, I don't care what other people think about me. And it's a process. It's not like you wake up one morning and you're like, I just don't care. what <laughs> it, That may happen. Miracles happen. I say. But typically it's because of the work that you do to just say, you know what? I know that they said this about me, but I choose to love myself more than I value that comment or I value that statement that was made towards me or I value that um, um, that idea that that person has of me. I don't care. Okay. So, um, yes, loving yourself and loving yourself in very practical ways. So a lot of people wonder like, how do I start loving myself in just the simplest ways when you need to speak up for yourself? Because if you don't, you're going to end up doing something that somebody else wants you to do, but you really don't want to do. And you're going to be unhappy about it. Speak up and love yourself enough to say, I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do this. Sometimes self-love is saying no to someone. Sometimes self-love is overcoming your fear of offending someone and speaking up about your truth, about how you feel about something. So self-love is not always easy, but it always brings you to a place of fulfillment. Because when you embrace who you are, you embrace your life. And that's that's the goal, to embrace your life. Um, okay, so you have a 10 to the details. So there are some things, and this is the card for uh, last quarter moon in Virgo. So there may be some Virgo energy that you're involved with. Um, you may have some Virgo energy in your chart that is going to help you at this time to organize and to see the details you may have been looking at things from such like on such a grand scheme where it's like i'm seeing the whole picture now it's time to hone in and bring that focus that's needed in order to make plans so that I, because what i feel that is coming through for you is to make plans for your happiness, to make plans based on what you want, not on what someone else wants. This is about you. So attend to the details that's speaking about paying attention to the little things that you've been overlooking because you wanted to please someone else or because you wanted to keep in mind that whole like goal that you had to be with this person or to make this relationship work now you can transfer that energy from there from there and invest it into yourself because when you release something there's going to be time and energy that you're going to have and a lot of times you're like you know what do i do with this well you invest it in yourself what do i want to do right now that makes me happy that's the question that you should be asking yourself every day what is it that you want in order to make yourself happy? Okay, let's see what else comes through for you from Spirit. What other messages for group two? Okay. All right, you've got perspective. A calm and clear mind is free to see differently. And that's exactly what's going to start happening is because as you remove your thoughts from the chaos, you're going to see that you're seeing things from a totally different perspective. It's like the person, whether it's King of Cups, Queen of Cups, this person that you've been connected to that you wanted to share something with for so long and you wanted this so deeply, you've sort of put them on a pedestal. Well, what you're going to notice is that as you release the old and move forward with your own happiness and contentment you're going to start seeing that that person wasn't even all that that person wasn't even doing that much 
it was in some cases it was that you were in love with the idea of being in love or in love with the perception of that relationship but as you gain clarity and you realize what it really is you're like wait a minute I'm seeing things in a different light. I'm seeing that now I have this opportunity where I, you wouldn't have seen that opportunity before. But you're gaining clarity. All right, you've also got wisdom in play. Uh, our intuition knows more than we do. So a lot of times that's what you're going to have to just trust is that that feeling that you get. I feel like these experiences that you've been through with this person and with the expectations of this relationship, deep down, you have to trust that every time you felt like you were crazy or you were off with your judgment, you absolutely were not. You knew. Give yourself that credit. That's the lesson that Divine is saying to take from this, is that your intuition is so much stronger than you have given yourself credit for, okay? Um, and also key to intimacy. Intimate love is a core need to be met in relation to ourselves and those who are closest to us. The journey to intimacy often includes learning what love is not. You don't have to see this situation as a failure because it was a learning experience. And, you know, that's something that on our spiritual path, that's something we have to embrace is that the things that didn't turn out the way that we wanted them to, it wasn't a loss. It was a needed part of our learning process at that time based on where we were. And so the less time that you spend regretting your choices, the more time and energy you can invest in your, your present moment and opening up that high priestess energy that is coming in so beautifully because of the changes that you're willing to embrace, even though you don't have it all figured out. Um, it's not necessary to have all the details figured out, but you know that you are going to a place that's better than where you've been. And where you are right now is so much better than where you have been in the past. And so focus on the strength that you've gained and not on um, the disappointment and any failures that you feel that you have made. It's okay to reflect on those things, to learn from them. But when you start beating yourself up about it, that's when it becomes almost a sort of abusive situation towards yourself where you're beating yourself up about something that it just went the way it did because that's what your soul that's what your spirit needed at that time that's what life brought you to at that point in time but you're growing and you're expanding because of it okay so you are walking into your power and you've also got with this strength card I know that with these types of situations where there are, there's some karmic involvement, there's some soul ties that have made things so intense. Um, it can be difficult sometimes to really connect with your power, but you are doing that and you're learning how to do that. And I feel like you're learning how to do this on a very practical level. It's not always about, oh yes, I'm filled with power. Well, what does that mean? Maybe being filled with power means that you're not gonna answer the phone today and you're gonna be okay with that. Maybe being um, walking in your power means that you're gonna make a choice that you want for yourself and you're not gonna care about what other people have to say about it. Or you're gonna choose not to give your energy to other people's opinions. You're learning how to express your power and to connect with your power in a very real way. And that's what's going to lead you to your Empress energy with this fertility card. This change that you have been going through, it's going to lead to so much abundance. And not only on a material level, but also from a spiritual perspective as well. Um, that's why you have that card for perspective. You're seeing all types of opportunities now. 
And it's like, whereas before you would have seen that, oh, that's something I have to do. I have to give my time to, to, to them or I have to invest in this, like in this relationship. Now you're going to be able to put your thoughts or, or direct your thoughts in a, um, in a way that's going to benefit you and help you grow. So it's not all about just giving your time and energy to someone else. It's about doing what you really want to do. Okay. All right, group two. I hope this reading was helpful for you. And please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care. Hello, group three. Let's go ahead and see what situation this is that did not go in the way that you expected or anticipated. <clears throat> okay, so you've got the Chariot, the Fool, and Strength, Major Arcana for all three cards. So I can already sense that this situation for you has been major. It has impacted different aspects of your life with the chariot and the fool i feel like there was something that you wanted to move forward with this was a new venture this was a new start to your life um and with the strength card you just felt like you didn't have what it took to see it through and you feel like that's what i want to make very clear you feel like you didn't have what it took to see it through so i feel like that has resulted in a very deep sense of failure for you and um you have held it against yourself that you didn't make this opportunity happen i do want to pull a couple more cards to get a little more clarity because with this being all major arcana i mean this could be so many different things but i kind of feel like I don't know, I'm getting the vibe of like creative endeavor or prosperity. Uh-huh. Okay, so I'm seeing that with Eight of Pentacles. That's with work. Um, Knight of Pentacles. I, I feel like this was a way that you wanted to manifest money. It's something that you felt like was so deeply rooted within you. And it was something that you wanted so badly. For some of you, it could be a creative endeavor or a career path. And it's like you did the planning. You've got two of wands there. You had the sun energy. Look at you. Look at you. You had the queen of pentacles. So that's where you are working to maintain or achieve and maintain a balance between your emotions and your finances and nurturing others and nurturing yourself. It's just this beautiful state of balance. That's that's where you were headed. And then with that Four of Swords, it's like, I don't know. You know, I, I, I think you may have gotten to a point where you just felt tired. You felt like it was a lot of work. You felt like it was, there are aspects of it that may have been very stressful and divine is saying that that's valid that your concern over this venture being stressful it was stressful what's also coming to me is that there are changes and alterations that can be made to it um if you do want to revisit this i feel like this is a situation that does not necessarily need to be let go of. It can be revived, but there will have to be new structures put in place that will naturally happen because as you're taking this rest, you're learning more about what's important to you and what your standards are. And you're saying, wait a minute, I'm understanding that this is what I need. I need this amount of rest. I need to be able to, and you're understanding, you're getting a, a much broader view 
of what this dream entails and how you can really make it happen, but also nurture yourself. Okay. All right. Um, let's pull some more cards and see what messages God has for you. Okay, you've got um, drum, dream, and journey. See, I feel like this is something that is a dream of yours, and it's like truth. Okay, so this, um, yeah, okay, so the oracle card, wait for important information. I feel like the energy that you're in right now of waiting is right. This four of swords feels like it was right. I feel like you didn't need to doubt your strength at all. Because like I said in the beginning, you feel like you weren't strong enough, but that's not true. There were lessons that needed to be learned and you're going to, I feel like you're going to return to this creative endeavor, this idea, this dream of yours, but it's going to be done in a way that really facilitates these vibes that you were headed in already, which is sun and queen of pentacles. And with these cards, I know that this is something that aligns with your path. It really feels like that. It feels like something that was meant to bring you joy and success. But it's just that, you know, sometimes we have to sit back and wait for important information. This important information is, um, it's going to come through spirit. I feel like it's going to come through things that you read, songs that you hear. You might pick up a magazine and start reading a news article and it just like speaks to you something about it maybe an interview and it's like you just feel like spirit is talking to you directly and it is and it's to give you the encouragement and also the know-how i feel like there were certain things in this venture that you were moving forward with and it's like the pieces of the puzzle just weren't coming together. It required you to step back and care enough about yourself to say, I'm going to put myself first and my health first. And I feel like the time out that you've taken, it is truly um, what was needed at that time. Okay, so you've got these two cards. Oh, ooh, okay, so this is powerful. You've got... This is the chaos card and then lust. I don't feel like this is romantic lust. Now for some of you it could be. But I feel like there was chaos that came about with your connection to this dream of yours because you may have looked around and saw other people doing it a certain way and you said, well, I want to do it that way too. Or maybe you started wanting what someone else had because you thought that that was the best thing for you just because other people had it. Or you may have tried certain things or certain ways of making your dreams happen because you saw that other people were doing it that way. So you said, okay, well, maybe it'll work for me, but it didn't work for you. I feel like um, there are some things that may have led to just being tired, worn out. Um, you may have felt like, uh, the passion, the initial desire and fire that you had for this dream, like you felt disconnected from that. So you needed a breather. You needed to step back and take time to reconnect with what's really right for you. Because this, like looking at others and thinking that what's right for them is what's right for you or thinking that you're supposed to want what they have listen this dream is going to work out for you it's just that it may not look like it does for other people and so divine is saying to not limit yourself to this box that you've created based on what other people have done or what other people seem to be doing Mm -mm. you're so far beyond the box it's like to try to put yourself in these little nice neat little lines and shapes and is is never gonna work because you're bigger than that you're greater than that so you can't squeeze yourself into that little teeny tiny shape box <laughs> All right, let's get more information from 
spirit. Okay, you've got cool your emotions. Okay, so that, yeah. See, that's speaking to that lust card. I feel like this is something that you have wanted so deeply that it's like with this Aries energy where you're, and that's full moon in Aries. It's like raring and raring to go. And so full of explosive motivation and 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 passion and drive but that drive and passion needs to be supported by your own individual way of manifesting that and taking the time that you need sometimes to just reflect on what it is that you really want you know so I feel like this timeout energy that you've been in, it's perfect. It's so perfect. It's like, I feel like you have thought that you were slowing down or like not doing enough. But no, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, so you've got creative power. Um, this break that you're taking is going to nurture your creative power. This is kind of like Empress energy. <clears throat> Release your alchemical energy into the world so you're going to be able to transform this is such a beautiful card you're going to be able to transform your dream into a reality because you're putting forth not only time and effort but you're putting your thought energy into it as well to make it happen from the ground up you know it's like it's so funny because when you start really walking something out and making it happen, it's like the level of details. You're like, oh my gosh, this is what I had to do to manifest it. Oh my goodness. But you're, you're equipped to do that. Like this is for you. It's, it's for you. I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> and it's going to happen. Okay, you've got renewal. Regeneration begins with decay. So something that is, um, it's like, Spirit is saying to hold on to your dream. Don't lose that. But the way that you have been going about getting it, there are some changes that will need to happen. And so as you let go of those way, ways of doing things that haven't really worked for you in the past, you're going to experience a really deep sense of renewal that's going to equip you with that creative energy and creative power that you desire at this time okay oh okay yeah i feel like you've had some obstacles and challenges with this is five energy of conflict i feel like that with like a five of pentacles i'm getting i feel like there are things that have held you back with financial prosperity that have been a result of you thinking that you couldn't do something or you thinking that something just wasn't for you or you thinking that like there's self-limiting thoughts that I feel are sort of attacking your creativity right now and so divine is saying to be aware of your thoughts um, sometimes you might feel like you just want to let your thoughts be on autopilot and sometimes they can, you know, but sometimes you got to reel those bad boys in and be like, wait a minute. No, we're not going over there. <laughs> we're not going over there today because it's not what's going to promote your well-being, you know? Um, okay. You've got the waiting game. Now that goes, look, spirit is saying, wait, 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 wait. You've got the waiting game. The oracle card wait for important information divine is saying you don't need there's really not much you need to do now you just need to rest because the reward that you're looking for is going to come in your ability to rest your willingness to rest you're able to do it it's just are you willing to you know are you willing to give yourself that time that you need Material and spiritual prosperity is what awaits you. And look at how he's looking out at it. It's like you might feel like you're not there yet, but it's coming. Okay. And you also have, okay, yes, you've got firm foundation, which is that root chakra of feeling grounded. 
And understand that with this disruption card, with the tower card, what that is, is that's that um, regeneration that they were talking about that comes from decay. So know that you are going to let go of some of those old ways of doing things, some of those pressures that you put on yourself, those thoughts that you just automatically allowed to bounce around in your mind because it's what you're used to. It's what you have experienced so much of. But it's time for change now. And know that by changing those thought patterns, that is going to offer you that firm foundation, which is prosperous energy as well. And that also supports this card for your material and spiritual prosperity. Because Divine is saying that you're not just growing in your financial wealth. This is about your spiritual well-being as well. So you're doing big things. So give yourself credit for that, okay? All right, group three, I hope that this reading was helpful to you. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I wish you peace, joy, and many blessings. Take care.